Long story short, I went into this video thinking it would be a lot better than it was, thinking I had more to say than I do. And essentially, I could just say, hey, combine a three cup Chemex brew with a B-83 cup mocha pot, and you have yourself a red eye. And I know for a fact how frustrating it is when people ramble on and talk about things that don't really matter just to fluff up the length, fluff up the length of a video. So if you clicked on my semi-clickbaity title, thinking this is gonna be some really long drawn out thing of how to develop this homemade red eye with cheap stuff. Essentially that's all you need to know and feel free to click away. But I do have enough little points that I've learned over the time that I've been making this drink for myself that there is some stuff that you could watch if you felt like it. Also, I'm not a barista. I don't have any professional training. I have been pretty obsessed with coffee for years, but so is every other person on the internet. No surprise. One thing I also am is very cheap. I don't want to spend four or $500 on some kind of home espresso machine, which is, hey, if you have it, that's awesome. Go for it. I think you can probably make stuff that tastes really amazing and it would be pretty impressive if you could do it in your own house. I don't have the time or money for it and I haven't ever since I started really liking coffee. So here we are. As I said before, the main ingredients to this are just a three cup Chemex brew and what they call a three cup Bialetti mocha pot. Neither of these things are new to the coffee scene. If you are interested in brewing coffee on any level, you know about both of these things. And who knows, there may already be videos out there saying to do this and I just haven't seen them yet. Since I pointed out the note that I am cheap, let's talk about the price points really fast. I think you can get the three cup Chemex on Amazon right now for around 36, 37 bucks and the three cup mocha pot for around 30. Obviously you have to throw in the price of the filters for the Chemex, whatever kind of coffee you like to drink and then whatever grinder you want to use because you do want one that's going to get a pretty even grind for both of these methods. I'm not going to make videos for the brew processes of either the Chemex or the Mocha Pot. I already have a video for the Chemex and if you want to learn how to do the Mocha Pot there are more than enough videos on how to do that. Once you get the main process down for both the Chemex and the Mocha Pot it is pretty dang easy to stay consistent with your brew. Then I guess the last main thing for me to talk about is the fact that you can play around with the concentration of the Mocha Pot versus the Chemex. You don't have to use the full Chemex brew. You don't have to use the full three cup Bialetti. Heck, I'm sure you could get different sizes of both the Chemex or the Bialetti because there are plenty of both. And you can develop your own strength depending on whatever you like. This is just the one that tastes the closest to a real coffee shop red eye to me. To sum up this rambling, but hopefully still short if I can cut it right video, you can make a pretty dang good red eye at home with just a Chemex and a mocha pot. Who knows? Maybe you've already thought of this, maybe you've already done it if you have both. But for some reason it took me, I don't know, three years of owning both of them to put it together and be like, hey, what happens if you bring both of them together? Oh, that was so lame. <laughs> I also feel like I've been way too close to the camera for this whole video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. I hope you can trust me when I say that I'm well aware of the fact that this was not the most professional video. Chances are it's just gonna be me talking for a little bit with some random B-roll thrown in. But if you would be so kind, I really would appreciate it if you could give it a like, throw a comment on something. It can be something I sucked at. It can be how I was annoying or awesome or anything, just something. I like interaction. I like anything that makes me want to improve and keep going because I really do enjoy making these videos. I've only made a few, but it's fun. It's fun to learn editing. It's fun to learn the filming techniques. And uh, I have a lot that are planned. I have a, a booklet full of ideas. Okay, it's not this whole thing full of them, but still there's a lot in here. Even though I lost some momentum, I do plan on making more videos on incorporating coffee with more outdoor stuff because I know I have a bit of a random mix on the channel right now, but I'm going to be combining them on some trips on some other things that I'm doing and hopefully bringing some stuff to the table that other people haven't done yet instead of just rehashing stuff that everyone already knows. I know almost no one makes it to the end of videos like this, but if you're still here, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all the normal YouTube stuff. Anything that can keep me inspired and keep me going on this. So I really appreciate if you watched any of the video at all, let alone all the way to the end. So hope you have a great day and thanks again.